Today's lesson is on non-numeric patterns. A pattern is a list of numbers, figures, or symbols that follow a rule. In our first lesson, these patterns are not going to have a number, which is why we call them non-numeric patterns. In our first example here, I've been decorating my Christmas tree and I wanted to find a good pattern so that I made sure the colors were spread out evenly. So I started with the red, then silver, then red, then silver, then red. So what would be the next thing in my pattern? What kind of ornament? Well, this is a pretty simple pattern since it's just going every other color. So if I just had a red, my next ornament would be silver pretty easy. For example 2, it's a little bit more complex. So I have silver, and then two with stripe, then one silver, two with stripes, and one silver. So even though these are non-numeric patterns, I'm going to write my numbers below them. So I have one, then two, then one, then two, then one. So judging by these numbers, it's pretty easy to see what's going to be next. In your notebook, go ahead and write down what you think the next two ornaments are going to be. If you need to pause it really quickly, you can. But here are the next two. Since we just had one silver, and our pattern is next two stripes, we have two more stripes. next example. I now started with one ornament on the top, and then two ornaments, and then three. So one, two, three. Notice how I like to label my numbers there on the side, and it makes it really easy to find my pattern. It's going one, two, three. So what's going to come next? It's going to be four. In your notebook, I want you to write down what would happen if I added one more row to the very bottom. And I'm sure you probably quickly figured out it's going to be five. Okay, so in our three examples today, we started with our first one that had red, silver, red, silver, red, and then we found silver. We have our second example where it went one, two, one, two, one, and then two. And our third example, where we were expanding our numbers one, two, three, four. Now that we've done a few examples together, I want you to try and do these four on your own. Number one, slightly more complicated. We have three different ornaments, stripe, red, silver, stripe, red, silver. What you need to write down in your notebook is what will the next three ornaments be? Pause if you need to, or just keep playing for question number two. Question number two. I have one stripe, two stripe, one stripe, two stripe, one stripe. If I was going to continue this pattern, two more spots, how many of these striped ornaments am I going to have? And number three, I start with one ornament at the top, then three, then five. If I kept expanding this pattern, what would I have on the next two rows? Last of all, we have question number five. This one's the trickiest of the group. So I have stripe, red, stripe, silver, stripe, red, and then stripe. So what are the next two ornaments going to be on this one? Make sure you bring these 
four questions with you to class in the morning, and we'll see how you did.